Tori Vega. We all know she loved to make it shine, but she also had a few love interests while at Hollywood Arts. Here are Tori's most memorable relationships. Let's start off with the first boy who caught her eye, Beck. Uh, it's cool. No, it's... I here. Uh, I think it's coming out. You might be making it worse, actually. <laughs> right away, the two had a connection. I know it'll make you feel better. Jumping jacks? Kiss me. Let's do it. However, Beck was dating Jade, making them just friends for now. Next is Tori's ex, Daniel. Danny! Hey! You go to school here? Yeah. You know I love Sherwood. Right, but I just didn't know where... I mean, isn't this school for, like, really talented kids who... Uh, I did not mean... No, no, keep talking. You're doing great. Who happened to be Kat's new boyfriend. <laughs> this is the guy I've been telling you about. <gasps> My boyfriend. Oh. <laughs> Daniel, these are my friends, Beck, Jade, and that's Tori. Yeah, we've, we've met. <laughs> really? You know Daniel? Oh, she knows Daniel. It seemed as though she wasn't totally over him, but after a minor overreaction... <laughs> what the hell, boys? <laughs> she got cheese in her hair! Tori! Why did you do that? I don't, I don't know, I, I just... <laughs> Daniel kissed Tori when she tried to apologize. She admitted she didn't really have feelings for him, and it was jealousy that got the better of her. Then there was super cute Ryder Daniels. It seemed like everything was going great when he asked Tori to go out with him. So, I was wondering if maybe you... Look, I really can't sing a duet with you. No, that's not what I was gonna ask you. It's not? I was gonna see if maybe you wanted to, you know, go out. Or... I should probably just... No! Wait! <laughs> I'd love to go out some time. And wow, your arm is hard. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. So we'll grab sushi or something. Yes. I mean, yes. Yes. I want to do that. After getting caught snooping through his phone, she begged for another chance. And the two decided one shady boy to the next. She started dating Steven, who also was dating Carly Shay from iCarly. He even gave her the same charm bracelet he gave Carly, with a minor typo. When he gave you yours, didn't say it's one of a kind, just like you. <laughs> <laughs> at least he had mine engraved to Carly and yours to Tori. Yeah, at least. Wait, mine says to Topi. <laughs> you didn't even notice they got the engraving wrong. Unless he's dating a third girl named Topi. After finding out about his two-timing ways, Tori used their 100-day kiss as a perfect moment to get back at him. Hi, Steven! What is this? This is iCarly! Yeah. Yeah. And that is my ex-boyfriend, Steven. Ex? He's also her ex-boyfriend. Ex? Yes, X meaning not anymore. Just when we thought Bori was forever in the friend zone, Beck and Tori almost kiss. Cause I don't want to be. Oh. Cause I just wish that I could tell everyone. Oh. That it's all an act. That those people are making you dress and act like a jerk. How did you know? Cause you're Tori. You wouldn't act like that unless someone was making you. Oh my god, you have no idea how happy I am that you know the truth! <laughs> but I, I, I didn't tell you. I never told you I was faking. You guessed it! Okay. Now why don't you just stop? Cause if I don't keep acting like a bad girl obnoxious rock star, they might drop me from the show. The show is in two days. I can't fire you. 
I don't know. I'm scared. Listen, just tell Mason Thornsmith that you're not going to play his little game anymore. What? The world needs to see who you really are. Because you're awesome. I gotta go. Okay, later. School. Stop. Bye. And they almost kiss again. So. Ah. Uh. Uh. Oh. You. I'm sorry. No, I... I'm sorry. I. I didn't. I didn't mean to. No, no, no. You, you, you didn't. You. Then why can't we kiss? Cause. Cause of Jade. Jade and I broke up. Yeah, but kissing your friend's ex-boyfriend? Wait, wait, wait. When are you and Jade friends? Last week, she took your hamburger. She just rubbed it against her bare foot. What? They ain't feet meat. As if it wasn't already awkward, the two tried to deny their connection and go on an opposite date. Busy? We were just talking about the museum. Dude, the... I can't go with just you. Why not? Because if it's just the two of us, then it's like a date. All right, I get it. You don't want to go on a date. So we'll do the opposite of a date. Opposite? We won't dress nice, we'll eat terrible food, and we'll do something unfun. <laughs> then it's not a date. It's just us hanging out. Yeah, that's it's not a date. It's like uh, an opposite date. See you at seven. I am not looking forward to it. But in the end, Tori was a true friend and brought Jade and Beck back together. I think I've learned something about myself. That you're ungrateful to your friend who tried to fix you up with a cute girl? No, I just think I like dating a girl who, you know, fights back. You? I mean, a girl who's got strong opinions, you know, and a big mouth. Why? Because it's not easy. Easy's boring. Do you think Tori would ever get back together with her previous crushes? Or is she better off on her own? Let us know in the comments.